so don't touch the them. Mics the mics are hot. <laughs> no cold What's mics. What's up, potheads and political junkies? Whoa. You're watching Cannabis Culture News Live. Jeremiah and Mr. Cookie and Johnny and Jody and How Neil you? here. Whoa! Spread it around! Whole crew in the house here. Just watching the up, screen. Rolling up hard. Good to be back on a Friday afternoon with all of y'all out there in Pot TV land. I'm just throwing all the social media, so I'm like doing the. Johnny's the taking pictures, just, just doing taking social pictures, media. Throwing the news We're going to talk there. about some fun things today. Lots of fun weed, things. Weed related, of course. There's no, stacks of stuff. No, not, not always. Well, last you know show, wait, was it last show? That we were doing the tangent show? No, that was on Monday, last Monday. I don't. I missed the Monday. We just show. did. It wasn't even weed talk. It was just whatever came to mind. You could just talk whatever about, came just to riff mind. Riff off on and like, yeah, it's these fun guys tangent show. See? We should have, we should have a camera over here. See, this is why we need pot TV on the on the window. We've yeah. got like a window well, that's what's here. What's great about that? It's like we're, yeah, we're in the zoo. They're on the window. They're on the window. They're they're on the camera. Camera. We have to let people know. Shit, I'm live now. We should have that little ball back in the days when like you put people live. They'd be like, don't put me on there. We need a live sign. We do. Sign that goes yes. live. Fuck. We'll get a green one. Yeah. Huh? It would yeah. have to be green and have to be live. Or purple, but, like but a purple have it in pot live, TV. but have it, it have purple. it in like pot leaf kind of looking so it looks like live. Pot leaf. Pot leaf. Yes. Pot leaf. That's a good idea. We should oh, have that. We used nice. to have one of those downstairs in the back old in the TV day. studio down in oh, where yeah. the urban shaman is. Yeah. Like, like you're going way back days. though. Yeah, yeah. Long time ago. Speaking of actually long, long downstairs ago. in the urban shaman Speaking and going of. way back. Wow. Oh, what a nice segue. There you Good go. Good segue. What's Thanks going for the on downstairs? I'm just going to talk serve about what's going on downstairs. Are you? What's downstairs. happening? Oh, there's something going on downstairs? I served the ball up for a spike it. Right on. Here we go. Swing it. Ready? <laughs> so, I, I was doing a volleyball <laughs> reference. Oh, no, I'm doing yeah. baseball. Batter up. I'm not good at either of these or any sport. But uh, <laughs> but what so we are doing. So tell us about what's happening downstairs, we, Joe. We're renovating the store, Joe. Sure. <laughs> we're renovating what, you're, you're the store. Renovating the, store? the head shop um, at Cannabis Culture Headquarters at 307 yep. West Hastings Street. You know, Mark came here. Oh, thank you very much. That's that's totally allowed. That's allowed. That's legal. I have to give credit to that little bit. Legal. You can pass a joint and it's not trafficking anymore. There's that. Um, but down in the store, it's just a head shop and it's very old. Mark took over that space, I believe, in two or 1996, Six, maybe? 96. And he was across the street from 94, 95. So this little neighborhood has been here for a long time and this organization's been here a while. And the store is a, a like it's a land it's a landmark it's a place people have come to for decades literally and seen the store pilgrimage it's a pilgrimage point and uh if you've been there you Shut know the but yeah. it's old and this girl. building is old sure. and we need to renovate the store um for a couple of reasons we actually just wanted to renovate it to make it look pretty mm -hmm. i'm gonna steal your lighter yeah. so um, are you gonna like and like that was the original idea is like oh we actually need to just make it look better because the ceiling is leaking and we had to build a big water leak thing this building was built in 1896 so mm -hmm. you know it's old um and so we fixed all that and we're investing in making it pretty but get this can i talk about the whole wholesaling head shop thing i mean it's yes. what do you mean? yeah this is a fact well wholesalers of rolling papers and cannabis accessories let's call them they uh sell to head shops and to lots of people dispensaries yep. uh, but they have been told by the provincial government that they need to shut down the accounts of people who don't have provincial licensing to be cannabis retail or cannabis accessories really well wait wait. Whoa, wait whoa whoa, 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 whoa just whoa. a quick wait. second um I'm I, curious. I, wouldn't, I, I don't know if we can say that they've been told by the we provincial feel government. There, there's but, pressure. But I re feel. Remember, the other angle was it's not. He mentioned to me the person that we talked to, who I'm not going to say who, but right. that it's not just the government; it's the banks. Yes, and the banks are being leaned on by governments yes. oh, too. Yeah. So there's okay, a lot so of I, I pressure know, to I'll... try and force. At any rate, point being, yeah. in our head shop downstairs, yeah. we are renovating it already. So now that we consider the fact we might need to get a cannabis retail accessories license, which is the whole $40,000 and yeah. background yeah. checks and all that stuff to you sell legal weed, oh. you, we believe you now have to do that to sell weed accessories. So yeah, anyway, they're really putting this their squeeze on everybody and trying to get everybody to get a license one way or another. And here, <laughs> for us, 
we can't get a business license in the city of Vancouver. So it's not just that they're like they they would be happy with a business license of some kind, but you can't get a business license if you're a head shop in Vancouver, <laughs> a regular one. You it's have to cannabis get cannabis related. Yeah, and good. you have to get provincial. Well, depending because you know what, I'm I'm a wholesaler. I'm a distributor who sells to the wholesalers, and I know a few wholesalers that you're talking about in question. Yeah. Um, and I, I'm kind of looking at that and kind of thinking right now, and I know there's a lot of people shutting down. Um, a lot of things are changing, and there's a lot of talk about this because I do talk a lot. Of, I do talk a lot of people in this industry about exactly what you guys are talking about. So, yeah. um, it's interesting because there are certain licensing through certain companies that hold distribution through certain channels. It's that they don't want, and you can't tap into that channel because that yeah. channel's already being kind of. It's it's kind of like a, a license, like fishing license. There's only so many licenses. That well, are and the going government out. has. And their I don't own say that they're giving them right. own licenses, but. From in the industry, you've seen only so many people got these contracts to sell to the right. control board, to Ontario, yeah. to sell to the BCCS and stuff like that. And yeah. I know that in a certain province has opened up a sell directly into, so you can't shut that down because they've opened widely to sell into. Certain ones are being forced, so you're you're yeah. seeing a split too, right? So you're well, seeing a difference where we're t they're trying to put this regulatory model in where you have to buy from here, but then the private stores that are opening, they well, you know, we rather buy. Cause you'll see that with certain shops that are opening, they have. Heady glass. They don't have Chinese glass. You can yeah. see that they're buying from a different wholesaler already. Well, it'll just be like an art store, but it's just—it's another stupid Jewish hurdle. All oh, right, yeah. The, hmm. Oh, it's a Corona token. Corona uh -oh. token smoking session. Uh -oh. Corona Kush. Corona Kush. Oh, that's my favorite strain. Well, pass that over. Well, anyway, we that are having. going viral. Is it? Good one. <laughs> um, we are, so we're having a renovation in the store, but it's only in store. Come down. Actually, you can't anymore. The point is today we're closing down. So if you. Today was the last day of our renovation last... sale. But you yes. can go on cannabisculturehq.com and take part in our Valentine's. Buy one, buy one, get some sale. It's amazing. Carly <laughs> well, wait a second. Is you so can come to the second smart. floor from the pop up store, can't we? You? You and can. this is what's happening right hey. here in Pot TV Studio, yeah, so actually. I mean, it's not like you're like, missing out. You're right, Jody. You can still buy stuff. True. Yes, you can everything still come is down. still here to purchase. You can come It's just buy. something new is going to be coming in the future yes. that's going to yes. be exciting. So if you walk by point, and you Johnny. see our headquarters all papered up, don't be scared. Please come on up there. Come on there. Yeah. Yes. Watch us idiots through the. You're right. It the, is the, like red paper. Well, you can write yeah. it on the inside. Dang. And the fun thing about it is, you actually get to come and buy stuff from the Pod TV studio because that's where the pop up shops. Right be. there, that so clanging right and banging outside, you just heard. The door behind They're us getting here, ready. The banging is yeah. the, the new store, the temporary store. But if you're not in Vancouver, go online cannabisculturehq.com, and soon you'll be able to actually help contribute. If you watch Pot TV and you don't need to buy anything, you're good. You got all the stuff you need. You don't then you might be able to donate. So we're actually going to be asking people to contribute to the media that gets done here. It takes a lot to keep here. things going here. We have yeah, cameras, we have people. These yeah. things are expensive. You know here. what? I've, I've, <laughs> I've, everything uh, costs money. And yeah. you know what? A lot of our times, a lot of people here like ourselves, like I know we just we come down here because we want to be here. Yeah, but, but, but it really comes to... down to that there are costs of keeping the building yeah. open. Well, my to fans always lives. send me some checks. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you're already getting some? Well, give us some. But TV. You know what? If... Keep I would say them, I'll keep just donate guys. that. Just don't yeah. don't send it. Donate it. And if you don't want to donate, you can always buy and, stuff. And if you, and and it's if, just you know we have we want people to feel um, they can support what we do here because it's twenty years of Pot TV this year. Yeah. Like this is twenty years, and Pot TV is one of the first video websites ever on the internet. So Shit, I'm gonna have yeah. a there's a lot of YouTube. YouTube. Before, before YouTube. YouTube, it was Pot TV and Canada's Broadcasting Corporation, otherwise known as CBC. Yeah, well, we used to uh, broadcast downstairs. We used to broadcast. Yeah. We've broadcast in so many different places of this building. Broadcast from the Sunshine Coast. Ghost. Oh, fire! Yeah, that's right. We broadcast it from a bus. There's yeah. been broadcast from many places. Yeah. So there you have it. Twenty years of Pod TV. We are going to be celebrating that yeah. over this year, of course. But it's also uh, 26 Hello. years of 420, 420. this year. And, we, and cannabis culture, like all of it. Yeah. yeah. And cannabis culture too. That's right. Cannabis culture is actually 26 years You know, as, well. as Hemp BC and yeah. now on and Hemp the Newsletter. The cannabis culture came in a few years later. Yes. But this the organization, entity, the entity. This group right here that's been doing it on this block. Yeah. Also. Block yep. watch. Yeah. We've been in Vancouver, 307 West Hastings. It's been the pop block for... Yeah, or 310. 
I mean, shit, I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm getting up there, but I've been coming to the pop block. I was 16 years old, 26, 36, 46. I've been coming to this pop block for over 30 years. No, you didn't. Yeah. Wow. That's, Whoa, that's a long time. Crazy. You're so young, though. I was 16 years old. <laughs> Don't I'm tell anybody age. that. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> but, but, I mean, we're talking. Like, I know what you talking, mean, though. Stoners. Like, they, they're, I, I, that's I've been the coming age. down here. It was the only place you could buy weed here. It's we knew the a only train age. station, right? Yeah. Oh, and then, and then, of course, then we opened up a Ridgeway, so that was in, like, 19. It makes sense. And so that's when I started selling weed there. So, I mean, I was like, shit, yeah. you got to go all the way downtown to get weed. There's a business out. In po- so, you know what? That's That was the starting of my entrepreneurship. I started selling popcorn. And then I went popcorn. to grade eight. Oh. I went, well, shit, you like know. Like popcorn? Popcorn. In grade seven, grade six, I sold popcorn. 50 cents buttered. Uh, 50 cents plain, 75 cents. So not, not weedified. And not when, I, when, when, I went, when I hit grade eight, it was like. Whoa, people don't buy popcorn, but they buy joints. Yeah. Fuck uh, yeah, that was a good business. All right. right. Nice Step it up. Yeah. yeah. I just, a joint? That's pretty much what I nice. said. You were like too. three for Great ten. Eight. I heard an interview right with TI, which I don't listen to, but it was a good interview. Out. He said he started by selling candy in school. Yeah. Which candy? is yeah. a lot of people start by getting and he's like, you go get boxes and then you get yeah. all your different rent. My list was really oh, yeah. a pick up pop at the beach when I was like dad bought it. And then he invented trap music. And then and then he get you it turns into more profitable things. Yeah. Well, being, for, yeah, but, I kept, but I kept thinking though I'm like you know what teenagers and school kids are totally hooked on sugar and candy I was I was the total chocolate candy sugar fiend do you have any yeah. chocolate on you by chance I don't yeah, right? I'm trying like, to quit yeah. man are you trying yeah. to get off sugar and not really no, no that not happens really. Not. <laughs> <laughs> every, every day I love sugar I do have gummy bears I have coffee tennis. every day what's hilarious is I was going to bring the gummy bear <laughs> downstairs but I didn't mm. it's funny you mentioned oh, hilarious gummy bears they were infused gummy bears though oh go get them Send mm-hmm. someone up. Mm-hmm. No, I got to Florida. We'd be mm-hmm. not able to do the show. Like There's this. a lot of smoke in here. So you know what's guys? We're trying. What we're jo- slowly hotboxing no place. Everybody's got their own joint. Studio. As you can see, we're slowly all getting stoned. We're starting yeah. to think of what's going on. Four twenties. Just that's another thing. That's just. It's gonna be. It's gonna. Oh, the event, so not the time. Oh, no. Ah, yes. No, no, we're not <laughs> the time's coming up. Too, like, <laughs> the event. Up it's it's coming up that quickly too. See how quick that was? We're like, well, in six minutes. But that's how quick 420 is coming up this year. It's sure, going to be that quick. I know. <laughs> For real. So, yeah. But it's funny that it's on true. 420 this year, it'll be 420, 420, 2020. 411, part two. And that's what this show is With today. The, yeah, this show is 420, 2020, 411, two. No, it's a 420, part two. Because now we're with you. That's right. I, we missed Jared last week. Uh, yeah, last week. I only right, was, was able gone. to pop in. Well, because that's for a, a news minutes. story, actually, if you want to tell people why everyone was busy. It's a news story out there. It is. It's out there. Well, yeah. it's, it's fully out there what's happening right the across the bar. Or whatever. What's that? So, we don't really know. Know. That's yours, man. Everybody's got their own joint, dude. Pop yeah. Right. yeah, Brian's just like, get. We're pop. not used to not passing. I know. I did pop the same people thing. People are like, smoke this. We're like, you share. What's the sure. best thing, you know, well, like when I would say, what's the first thing you do when you light a joint? Even when you're by yourself, you look around because you just kind of want to pass it somebody. So like, you just put it from one hand to the I'm other? Over to the dog, I'm like, hey, Ruff, do you want that? Me and Morpheus hang like, out. It's like, <laughs> like no. Yeah, there, so I did mention it, I think, a little bit on the show. I didn't really say what I was yeah, doing. It doesn't but matter. Yeah, yeah it's, you uh, need to there, tell there's it. some, it, doing business in this industry right now is tough because. All levels of government are trying to put the squeeze on us in every way possible. And that well, it's not just you. Going it's not after just you. No, it's everybody. Yeah, everybody. It's licensed everybody. producers. So, so first they were shutting That's down dispensary I mean. banks. Yeah. Right? And then, and I know before yours, it was, was sorry, what was going on with happening well, with we're some having some banks, banking issues. With banks and stuff like yeah. that. Is I know another big wholesaler that was, without they actually went after it. And I know another wholesaler before that. That was hit six, eight yeah. months ago through RBC, through certain banks. So it's slowly going the through the different banks. Well, you never know which one it is, And we've been going through this for a long time. <coughs> My bank, like everybody, every bank is getting hit for like, oh, what do you yeah. do in the industry? They're going after credit unions, and they're not allowing them to do business with anybody who has cannabis in their name, essentially. And even some of the larger companies, like the legit companies that aren't doing anything gray market, they have a problem with the large five banks because Huge. the U.S. banks and other U.S. companies <coughs> and the U.S. government, essentially, puts the squeeze on the big five banks. So there's they, still like prohibition going on. We still oh, have yeah. a lot of work to do. Everybody is, a we have a lot to celebrate. The shut down, but that's, they had nowhere to go. Companies were scrambling where to put money and that happened in, in down, yeah. and I know that down the Even US, the big LPs use yeah. credit unions apparently. Oh, they struggle too. There's banking issues. They struggle issues too. There's McKenzie. Hi. There's banking issues uh, when it comes down to and with the legal market you think there would be but when 
when you're dealing with any amounts of cash or credit or transactions going through Moneris or all these different uh, machines that you get flagged and that's what you just have saying. to become a bank like HSBC and open up banks yeah, that but are custom designed legal, to take like cash these legal cannabis stores I'm exactly. kind of curious of where they're banking so where is where is Hobo right. where is Donnelly Group where where yeah. are these places banking because you shouldn't be able to open a Good bank question. right but at any rate, yeah, this but is, they're all court. How? Yeah, do you have what banks are they using? This is well, one of know. many things that 420. It's a it's a tough. It's subject. a protest situation. Like uh, yeah. people, we have a lot of issues still to fix and campaign for. So 420, the reason we bring it up is it's, it is coming soon. It is a lot of wow. work. It's one of the greatest parties, the greatest gatherings, the greatest protests ever, and um, we need the largest help. protest ever. It is the mm. largest 420 gathering in the world. That yeah, and it's here. the only giant. Farmers free market, and well, it's a beautiful a thing, right? Yes. But, but I'm gonna let I have to actually run off now because I only came to take some. You're not staying till 14 minutes. Oh, I'm such a yeah, jerk. You're right. right. You're, you're right. Three minutes right. There, right. Yeah. 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 right. Like okay. that joint. Come on. Only narcs. Yeah, you know. Right. What are you doing? Right. 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 <laughs> are you showing the footage? Yeah, there's that. Footage. See, look at look that. At that footage. That's the look joint that toss. Footage. This is 420, and you won't even see the whole toss. crowd. The video no, doesn't the even gather at all. Doesn't even actually do it justice because it doesn't get all the way up. Look at all the people it up the really path. It only shows about half the event, but. So this it's is the joint amazing. toss before 420 happens, and then the drone will good, fly in and thing. get close to. Uh, like, dang, it's beautiful. We it do is that. Beautiful. And it's, it's free huge. to attend. The plant. Free that. information, free culture, community. There's there we me. are. People are like, no. cookie. <laughs> and that, that is you in your outfit. Yeah. Look, Look at that, that right? I see when, when they said the, when they came right up, yeah. I was like, and we have the, a world peace guy. day, and, yeah. and we don't get this, but you have a cat. I bet you bought a plant. And so you can wear the dark green world. this year, and I'll wear the light green, same as last year. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It made no. me, I swear to you, right, no passing. <laughs> no passing so joints. Um, <laughs> get away from me <laughs> with that joint. Um, but quite honestly, I was I was buzzing for days after this event happened. Uh, because it was just from so, the smoke itself. Well, but for real. <laughs> yeah, there's um, the guy. Eh? The guy who brings it in. Don't on point him out. Don't point him I'm out. Not, I'm yeah. not. <laughs> we don't know who he is. This was sent to us anonymously. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> we don't want that guy to get in trouble. I don't want him to get in trouble. <laughs> Her to get in trouble. It. Them. Yeah, yeah, we don't I mean, want them so to get in trouble. I'm not You're assuming right. a gender. We're not identifying them. Uh -huh. We're not choosing their identity. Nope, no, no. Exactly. That's that a one being. minute warning, by the way. So, in case you haven't uh, got your joint Look rolled or your bomb packed or maybe your dab rig ready. So we're, we're, not year, 30 seconds. we're working on 420 for this year, obviously, already. It's you just know like three really? months away. It's we're coming quick. Less than that. Right, time is quickly evaporating, and it's making me nervous. But Don't be nervous. Don't be scared. Don't, don't be nervous. Be nervous. So, but we yeah. are. We, do, we need you. We, we actually need you are in desperate need we of are. sponsors of you guys. and people to buy vendors booths. We need lots of 420 oh. vendors down there. Absolutely. <laughs> this is and, a uh, giant event run by volunteers. It's non-profit. Yes. And cannabis culture as an organization donates its entire executive team for about three months and that's not a donation that's like we're it costs because the companies and stuff don't get us as much because we're focused on this event right and then we pay tens of thousands extra just because we're sponsoring it ourselves but this shit isn't easy it's like six hundred thousand. happy 420, happy 420. Um, it, it is costs a hell of a lot of money to do tough. 420 it, we really had to raise six hundred thousand dollars last year to do the whole event when all costs are considered that's like the stage the talent all the fees security that the city charges first us. aid security first aid uh, radio for police the only thing we police. don't pay for is policing so the policing Second bill aid. is its own yeah. unique entity but we pay for all the other government bills and for the grass to be for, we pay right. for it all protecting the grass and, and flooring and then reseeding the grass once the park is cleared but I can actually I can add that <laughs> I, for the first time in years I got to go to one of these meetings where we sat around the giant round table at, at the park board yeah. and it's every authority you got fire <laughs> police ambulance transit vancouver coastal health vancouver city park different board departments, I think. park ranger i love yeah. park ranger man he was fun yeah. was, but none of them were antagonistic no. but you also had more listening like community safety unit which is the anti-cannabis squad right the, the <laughs> creeping in, in on the phone on the but it doesn't yeah. matter the point is this whole team is so welcoming. Like the media perception that I have to deal with for 420 is all negative, but the actual behind the scenes interactions is so positive. Hi, Carly Marley. Only one minute. We were 
were just saying how the you. buy one get some yeah, I thought you bought so one for me well. too. We can share this. Um, one but too. yeah, so 420, like, this cardboard meeting. We can just get two straws and we can share this one. The four oh, oh, like part of the buy one get some sale. <laughs> so this 420 meeting, I'm just I was impressed because they all facilitate this beautiful giant event, but it requires us raising the money to bring the performers, to raise the money, to bring the people to do all the things. So we actually have a dream lineup out there. There are a few names floating around. Um, but as you may know, Joe Rogan has decided to do his 420 Vancouver show, or 420 show in Vancouver. So he's telling everybody, come to Vancouver for 420 Vancouver. And Don't like, say the names of the performers. I won't say any names, no, no. Cause, but I'm just telling you, Joe Rogan has gotten hyped up because Cypress Hill <laughs> had the most <laughs> amazing time last year and went on the Joe Rogan show and Be Real was telling him how amazing it was. So Joe is coming up, but that's not our event. So just so you're aware... Right. That's Where not is he playing? We're going to Rogers try to get Arena. Rogers. He's yeah, got Rogers Arena. Rogers Arena. We'd love show. to have Joe down at the big yeah. event. Yeah, like, been reaching him. out. That's what I've been saying. Yeah, him. yeah. Tweeted Joe, exactly. saying you want to see him. On. Tweeting him right now. Like, <laughs> yeah, do it. Everybody <laughs> who's watching this show, go to tweet to Joe Rogan and tell him you want to see him on stage at Sunset Beach. I have to. Shit, you can even send him my email address, Jeremiah at cannabisculture dot com. Um. <laughs> we've already, like we've already tried to get a hold of him, but we just haven't heard back yet. So, so I got to get out of here, though. I just want to say bye and thank you to our viewers for watching with 20 years of Pot TV. And um, please keep listening and yeah. sharing. Like if you're watching right now, just share it somewhere too and be like, hey, I'm watching this. Or if you can't finish today's show or watch or share today's show, we have shows almost every day of the week. Subscribe and, to us on YouTube. Yeah. And hopefully soon we'll have Jody's Joint, which will be a regular <coughs> show if you're doing activist about yeah. activism. So we need your show, Jody. I just, you know, we, we got a lot. A we have so much to do. Right? It's Where Malmo. It? But I got to get out of here. Oh, Bye, oh, everybody. Thanks for Bye, Jody. I'll see you later. You look like an old prospect. Bye, guys. Hi, Hi Carly. So we 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 bring it we bring in Carly stop by to say hi. One, one princess had to go away, but here comes another princess. Two princesses in the house. Carly Marley, how's it going? Doing well, thanks. How are you? Going very well. Thank you We're for fantastic. the thanks for the milkshake. We're You're good. welcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping I would have got some. Mm. You can have some mine, Johnny. Don't care, you guys like sharing a joint. You can have some. Mine's better. Delicious. His is strawberry. Mine's peanut butter banana. Peanut butter peanut bread. Butter? Oh. Yeah, the so new, from the new entry at next door, just giving them props. The, the Free props. There's a is. weed lounge right next to the Cannabis Culture Lounge that you can come and smoke joints in called the New Amsterdam, and they have awesome milkshakes. Yeah, so they, they only awesome have us uh, smoking in their basement until 5 p.m. Right. So it's kind of nice because you can go pick up, you know, something delicious to tide you by until dinner and then come up to the lounge and smoke a joint, and then you're supporting two local cannabis businesses that are involved in the activism scene. We're yeah. really good friends with the guys at Amsterdam. Yeah. They're, they come over here all the time. We buy all their coffees next door. Yeah, I go there so, all the time. Dogs you know, awesome. Definitely I just go in there to smoke like weed the, sometimes, too. Yeah, it's a great spot. I love that place. It's well, a really, people, and it's a different feel. It's a different vibe. So I yeah. think the Amsterdam definitely has some, uh, some a lot of really great stuff. Yeah. This, yeah. Building, this building is full of amazing places to visit, so come on by 307 West That's Hastings. what we call the pop block. Exploration time. We have two lounges up here too. We have High Score if you like the old vintage video yeah. games. And then we have Cannabis Culture, our traditional lounge upstairs. Where they just lounge. Where we just lounge and smoke a lot of good product. Mm. You know what else is really actually up? We, it's not something we promote the lounge for a lot, but it's something that it's really good for. We're right near Homework. SFU and VFS, <laughs> and we're right near a bunch of schools, and we're also on the roof creating for a lot of schools. Holy shit. We have, in our lounge, all day, every day, Look students that. that come, open their books, study, do their homework, and they're able to smoke pot the whole time they're doing it, which is not something that they can do with the in the library. It's a quiet space, just some mellow music, yeah. smoking weed while you study. Why not? Mm -hmm. So, great. you know, just not It's a great way to sometimes study high. Get Procrastinate high. with some Super Mario Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> no, you just... You, Reward you, yourself <laughs> you after you study. Go no next door, get a strawberry shake, come back. Yeah, smoke some the food. students can give themselves a self ban so that high score doesn't let them in until their homework is done. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. That's a smart idea. You show them before what you got to do and so, show them the complete <coughs> answer. I did want to talk a little bit more about 420 before we talk about some more store stuff with Carly Marley over there. Um wanted to talk about this year some of the differences at 420 and 
tease to you guys, a little something fun that we're doing this year that we have never done before that we hope is going to be awesome. Um, we are... It's going to be... It's going to be killer. It's going to be killer. It's going to be epic. It's going to be... So cool. we're working on after parties. So <coughs> official 420 after party. <coughs> in years previous, we focus all of our attention on our big, huge event that we have, and we don't really just have a lot of time to deal with much else, but we're working with a couple crews that put on parties after the fact, so at local clubs in town. And we're hoping to have some big names to come to those as well. So we're trying to work everything out where maybe some of the people that perform a set a little bit at 420 would go and do a full crazy set at the uh, gig later in that night. So you get a double whammy of them. <coughs> this way we might be able to have actually more big name artists um, because they would actually go and do a show that night as well, right? So yeah. and oh. it would be at the official after party. And they would come down and do maybe two or three songs at the big event and then go and do a full thing at the after party. So, so we'll, that's, we'll see how it goes. We're, we're working on some great Multiple ideas behind that. Yeah, yeah but so keep you know tuned into all of our stuff, including 420vancouver.com, to find out exactly what that's going to look like. Where but, in town there's going to be more stuff related to 420, not just at Sunset Beach itself. Well, there is 420 is on a Monday this year. It is on a Monday, that's right. So that leaves the weekend coming up to 420, which mm -hmm. makes it even even more exciting. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not even just the weekend, though. This entire 420 month, month is, 420. is 420. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. <coughs> so, <coughs> so it starts on, four, on, on whatever, April 1st, and then goes all the way to April 20th. April I'm going to smoke pot first. all day, every day. I mean, I already do, but I'm going to, like, make an especial point of it. I'm going to be s super ripped out of my mind the entire April. Mm-hmm. Good. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty much. This milkshake is so good. Holy They're kind crap. of addictive. They're, like... They are so good. Honestly, we probably get a couple every week because mm -hmm. they're so good. But so the other big thing I wanted to talk about that's related to 420. Right you got it. Oh, the yeah, that's banana. The banana. Yeah, peanut butter. Banana. Peanut, peanut butter. Peanut butter banana. It's so good. So VIP packages, something that we've never done before, but we want to do the 420 experience VIP packages. So that for people who come to 420 that have never been here before, or even if you have been there many times. And you've never experienced it, or you want to experience it yeah, from it, all different angles. We have a bunch of stuff in store for you guys. So you can get a little bit closer to the fun and also, you know, get a little bit more intimate experience. experience. Get, a, get, a, get an experience. Yeah. So we would have four VIP levels from silver to plat or to diamond, that is. Diamond. So silver, gold, uh, platinum, and diamond. Silver, gold, <coughs> platinum, and diamond. And each of them would be slightly different. And it would start with uh, the silver VIP pass, which gets you access to our VIP area, which is... Something new that we're doing this year. We have in the previous years had a dab village right in front of well, the stage. Well, last year was kind of more of a more of a VIP. Last year was the first time we had wristbands where you had we had it. wristbands. We had you right. could not get back. Whereas yeah, the before this, it was kind of this will be a little so. different than that. Um, we're we're still working out exactly how the it'll likely be. You get a lanyard, right? So you'd have your pass. It'll be hanging around your neck or whatever. A lanyard, or you can yeah. clip it onto your belt. You can clip it on your belt. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be like a judge's kit pass or a judge's pass when you go to a cup or whatever it look kind of the same as that right or when you go to lift the thing they give you there or whatever, yeah, right? yeah those things so <coughs> that'll allow you to get into this new vip area that's right in front of the stage where our dab village used to be so right in front just to the right of the stage we're going to have our vip area that people can come in chill out sit on the couches and we probably will have another VIP area so over. VIP. Yeah, we're gonna have multiple VIP areas, very likely, right? One over one just for viewing uh, like the by the beach Vegas, as well. You guys know. Yeah, so we're we're gonna work that out. But this this the lowest um, pass, the silver pass, will actually get you into that VIP area and get you a 420 swag bag that includes a bunch of cool 420 gear, like a 420 T-shirt. Uh, 420 uh, ashtrays, maintainers, lighters, all the goodies. <coughs> that actually matches. labeled with 420 and some stuff from, from some of our <laughs> sponsors. You need the um, matches of smoking the hash. Yeah. Yeah. That's I like matches. So, They're good for emergencies. Right? Yeah. So, you gotta get, <laughs> so that's pretty dope. matches for smoking the hash. That's just the silver package. The gold package will get you all of those things. So that's entry, entry to the VIP areas, the swag bag, but it also gets you a vendor sample pack from some of our fine 420 vendors. And if you guys know, 420, as you guys know, 420 is the largest farmer's market 
in the world, outdoor farmer's market for cannabis in the world that we know of. We got someone who might want to talk about that. David? Where, yeah. No! Where no! We, have, we have 500 vendors Is there that, uh, uh, with a rainbow of products of amazing, <laughs> high quality, totally awesome. So For all different ranges. The gold, which one? the gold VIP pass gets you a real cool goodie bag. Uh, the, our vendor sample kit as well as the other stuff. So look out for that. That's, I think, going to be a really popular one that everybody's going to want to get in on. It's going to be pretty awesome. But we're also going to have the Platinum Package, which is platinum. those same things. You get the VIP. You get the... Um, what was the swag, one? Bag? swag bag? You get the vendor sample pack, but you also get backstage access behind the 420 stage where we have an, an area where you can hang out with all the people who make 420 happen. You also um, have the interviews. Are you still going to have the same thing? the badger and share where everyone's resting. And stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, you'll, you'll be... Yes, yeah, so backstage, you won't have access to be hang out with the talent themselves unless they feel like coming out. Like we're going to try out. to work that out and see how the meet and greet Jane, thing goes. But you're not, you're, yeah, you're not allowed to... No <laughs> climbing on people, no. Um, but it is a cool place to hang out. It's nice. The crowd isn't so thick back there. We're going to have nice couches. We'll have, we're going to have some food and stuff for people. Um, so it's going to be a, quite a nice experience. If you want to get backstage and hang out, uh, we're, we're going to let people back there. Then there's the diamond package, which Whoa. is all of those things. Whoa. You get all of it. The, so you get the VIP. You get the swag bag. You get the vendor sample pack. You get backstage access. And you also get what we think is going to be a ticket to Joe Rogan. So Joe Rogan's thing that happens after 420. And you get access to be on stage at 420 during the big 420 moment. Woo! So only certain <clears throat> certain people get let up on stage. You gotta get up, day. you gotta get your elbow on Yeah, there. No matter even gets, who you are. It gets crammed right up there. there yeah. This guarantees you stage access at the 420 moment so you can see the big crowd, you can take selfies off the stage. It's pretty cool. You can be up it's there only, with it's us. It's only the hardcore it's, 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 yeah. it's, <laughs> it's, it's pretty empowering to be up on the stage yeah. Yeah. and to see everybody cheering without smoke going. And if you're truly yes. a part of... You just you want to be Those in there. Those ones are going to be very limited, though. Like, we're not going to have more than probably 10 of those passes available. Oh, you know what? So and, and that's going to be a real elite group who gets to seven. come up on stage. And that elite and group's going to get even something even more <laughs> elite that, that I'll be dropping bomb on that, too. So that, that those top 10 are going to be just so hooked up. We've already had a couple enough. other people go, ooh, I could throw this in for that 10. I could throw this yeah. in for so that. He won't even say people, anything, but yeah. there's going to be yeah. some fun there, things. There's going to be some amazing, amazing products. And so you know what? That's sitting back so experience. There's a tent. We're going to be able to the 420 smoke. experience. It'll be it'll be the best experience. It'll be it'll be the experience that you'll never forget. Yeah, you might even get 420 one of those experience packages. Papers that are never made ever again. There you go. <laughs> Which ones are those, Brian? Smoke and Eco, one and one quarter, yellow. Brian's hooking those up. So Brian's got. You know, <laughs> seven, <laughs> only for the seven people. Seven, mm. ten. Well, I said seven. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna try to do ten. We think ten's a pretty nice round number. So. <clears throat> but that's it's a cool way for people to sort of. We wanted to do actually make it like a cup or something like that, but we just decided. But we also have to this fund the, the best event way to too. Do. Yeah, and, and it really comes down to that. It's it's being you know, all. It, it's there's a lot of money goes into it. There's an yeah. experience that people want to be involved with, and at the same time, we able to, it all goes to the event. Everything that you every 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 penny that's being mm-hmm. raised to this is all just going into the event for the stage. For the our non profit event, we're trying to cover the cost. We're trying to cover the cost, right? That's the thing is, we Sponsors, don't, nobody you know? makes money on 420. You know, the, the people who organize no, 420 you just are have all volunteers. Have like, you just be able to go and they have an experience that you yes. never experienced before. Right? Exactly. That's the people who make money for. on 420 are all the people who, you know, build us a stage, get us the talent, David does. talent got themselves. David is a volunteer. David makes no money on 420. I've, yeah, I've never made money on 420. I've always lost money on 420. But it's nice to stink it to the man every yes, time and say, what, you don't want us to have Cypress Hill there? You want us to, to forbid people from smoking pot at our rallies? You don't want the, okay, it's okay to smoke pot, but you don't want the tables? Uh, sorry, we're going to do it our way. Yeah. And there it's really nice. It's fun to just be able to say, no, we're demonstrating what should exist. Where this is a demonstration of what we're fighting for. And we're not going to stop until each and every one of these poor retailers or young users are as legit and as legal as coffee the beans. Ute. Yeah, so yeah, the, we, we got to free the ute and, and then we'll free ourselves too. Because if we allow them to have hard drug regulations, 
then they're going to exclude the young and the poor. But if we insist on soft drug regulations, then, you know, no stone are left behind. That's right. And I'm just wondering, mm -hmm. who's the talent this year? <laughs> That's what we can't tell you, David. But listen, if we get those diamond or, or those all the people, the, the vendors to cough up the cash, the sponsors to sponsor it, yep. and the diamond participants to participate, yep. then we have the money in hand. We could go shopping for some good talent. Who do you want to see there, David? Me? Well, okay, my dream uh, people would be, of course, Run the Jewels, because I have, like, this orgasm every time okay, I yeah, so visualize you Run the Jewels on the poster. Be there. Brian, because if know. Run the Jewels was on the poster, we'd have a half million people show up for 420. But if you can't do that, Neil Young, I heard, works for cheaper than Run the Jewels, and he's Canadian, and he's a hardcore anti-monopolist mm -hmm. you know this buds for you mm -hmm. this this notes for you mm -hmm. oh he could sing this notes for you except put this bud in, in instead mm -hmm. and just uh you know yeah you could do that so neil cool. neil young would be cool yeah. willie nelson would be cool we could yeah. get the old folk to show up yeah but we should also have some hip-hop artists so that the young folks well Who? damian marley or any of the marleys yeah uh geez louise anybody who sings about pot that people listen Revolution. to you know, yeah, I'm okay with. Revolution. If they sing about pot and it's in a positive way, and the young folk come up Richie to that, or <laughs> even if the middle aged folk, reggae. oh, let's I wish we could some, get drums and hands. Let me, let me say this much. <laughs> David, let me say this much. Every single person that you mentioned, yeah. we've looked into. Okay. And we're working on things. Working on it. Just do your best. All yeah. you can do is your best. All we can do is our, our best, folks. We haven't decided yet who it's going to be, but I can say that everybody that you named is yeah. definitely on our list. Well, and if, we've, we've you know, we'll get around to them to those every... Guys, all of them, so... We're going to put on one of these every year for the rest of our lives, so we'll get around to getting all these people well, you on. you know what? And one day we'll have a budget. Be here too, right? Yeah. One That's day we'll have... One day we'll have a real budget, yeah. and then we'll fly and run the jewels festival. here, mm -hmm. and there will be a half million people show up to that one, because they're big! They're <laughs> huge! Well, like I said, we have been flirting a little with those guys, too. Just Flirt. ask them every year. One day they're going to be like, you know what, Mike, we got to celebrate your birthday in Van Stuyen. <clears throat> I can say that all the big names. I mean, it doesn't it's, it ain't cheap to get these guys here? No, but we got so a it's, rep, and it's you know, really what? about getting the sponsorships. You know, Cypress yeah. Hill had a Me good time when they were they here. They did have a very good time, and that shit gets around. Word gets out. They might Vancouver's back. chill, <laughs> and it's awesome. They've never seen a farmers market like that before. They t they told Joe Rogan they really loved it. And now he's coming. Well, ha hey, did he say he'd drop by and say hi? We haven't been able to get a hold of him yet. Okay, we'll keep working on that. We're still trying. He's we're, we're pretty gonna, cool. Joe, if you're out there listening, please get in touch with he me. He has huge Jeremiah at Canvas Culture. I, I seen him on Facebook logged in. Oh, yeah? Joe, Joe Rogan. Rogan. He's watching the show right now. Has like, huge oh, yeah. brass balls. That would be amazing. He's not afraid to talk about anything. Oh, no, he's, <laughs> he's amazing. Yeah. He's a huge idol, I think, of, of all podcasters, really. There, like, There's a huge amount of overlap between Pot TV and Joe Rogan. We're like the Joe Rogan of the constantly smoking pot. If he comes, he can do <laughs> yeah. like the 425 well, DMT blast. He's yes. a pot smoker. I saw, it. I saw what he did to Elon Musk. <laughs> yes. He rolled him like a that huge so hashish flavor. <laughs> Joint good shit. and got him uh, totally fried on both sides. Yeah, you know that turned into a mural two days after it was aired. Yeah, that that still shot of him <laughs> with that face, like gnarly face. And, and there's this big column of smoke, this dragon of smoke going up on the side. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna have to head out. I only had ten minutes to oh, spare. Shit. I've been up for twenty, and uh -oh. I had, didn't get a chance to talk about any of this. Well, now can you talk? I'm about sorry to call your time away. No, it is away. not at all your fault. Can you it's can fine. you can you talk about um, I'm gonna head out too. the buy one get some sale real quick before you do some quick quick promo? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Puff, um, keep your and read my article on hemp ethanol. That's all I David Mal Levine, read him on canvasculture.com. Hemp ethanol hemp, can save the world! Hemp ethanol. Hemp ethanol can save is the world. Avoid climate there you go. Carly Marley, tell us about the Valentine's Day sale. Yeah. CanvasCultureHQ.com. Um, I decided to come up with the buy one, get some sale. So you can get something special for yourself and your loved one at a great price. Everything in the Cupid collection that I put together is buy one, get one 25% off any of the items. So you can buy a t-shirt, get 25% off the pipe, whatever. Uh, two items, buy one, get one off. I mean, you can get four and then you can get the two items 25% off if you want to. Um, I made sure to include everything in the Cupid collection 
we have on stock, ready to go, so you can be sure that your order will get there nice and soon so that you can get your stuff before Valentine's Day. We've got lots of cool things in there. I even threw the Remo products in there. You know, if you've got a grower in your life, what well, would be a better Valentine's Day present than a couple of, like, things of Remo nutrients? So uh, we got a couple of Dana Larson's book in there. If you've got a pot activist friend now. in your life, or if you want, you've been wanting to get some of Dana's books, now you can get Pied Piper and... Uh, yeah green eggs and hash, buy one, get one 25% off. And I also brought up some of my favorite things in the sale. We have these on the online store and I absolutely love them. They're always really affordable. I brought it just up two of my favorites. There's like six different styles. They're all really beautiful and integrate. Yeah, they're like, yeah, they're really, really pretty. They're hand carved wood. Buy one, get one, 25% off. There's a bunch of other styles, they're really pretty. Some really fun fluorescent mm -hmm. colored bongs, all sorts of stuff. Go check it out, cannabisculturehq.com. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and on Facebook and on Twitter too, so, so you can stay here. informed with more great promos yeah. and deals as they come to you. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go get back Good to work, all the Carly craziness Marley. we're dealing with in the store Thank right you, now. Thank you, Carly Marley. <laughs> you can watch Carly Marley every Monday on the 420 Lifestyle. At four o'clock at 4 p.m. And you oh. can also find all her handiwork on the Cannabis Culture HQ website where she's the manager. Right there. CannabisCultureHQ.com So mm. go buy some. There's tons of good stuff. Everything you need but the that's weed. That's not on the website what Johnny was just showing. No, 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 it no, might no, have no, been sorry, confusing. Sorry. But no, 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 no. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That sorry. heart I just said. Pipe. I just said that, that it's, there's, 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 there's some stories. That's in the store, right? Is it the store? It's not on the online. The store's closed right now. No, where you can come to the store. probably come up to the pop-up store. No, the store's open. The pop-up store. Is store. Yeah, the These are your basic spoons that are probably your number one sellers downstairs in the store. So it's when you first the come in. The store's still open today. And it's, it's still open. And a lot of those, oh, a lot of those hand-blown pipes will be upstairs for the pop-up store uh, before. Uh, how, I mean, before Valentine's Day. So definitely come on in if you're here. Yeah, like come check out all the heady yeah. glasses and everything. Else. There you go. Yep. All There's right. still lots of stuff at the store in the pop-up too. So I don't know if they'll have that Valentine's Day pipe in the little pop-up shop. Not that but, one, but yeah. I know they have other stuff down there. Tons There's gonna be lots of stuff in the pop-up shop. It's gonna that be, would be fun. gone. It's gonna pop up. Yeah, it's gonna pop, pop it in. up here, you know. <laughs> pop into the pop-up. All right, Carly Marley. Right. Thanks for coming on. Appreciate it. Thanks. And thanks for the milkshake. Delicious. Yeah. Picked so, a pop up. Thank you. Really and Neil good. has a little video that we were gonna Hi, play Neil. here. Neil of, has uh, a video. Well, Neil Magnuson's also in the house. And Neil's we're gonna talk to house. Neil. But and Neil, Neil <laughs> is going to play us um, a vi little video from Willis County, Tennessee. And Ooh. this is a guy named Spencer Allen Boston. Like that guy. Who, this guy's pretty cool. He was in court and uh, decided to <coughs> put on his own little protest, I guess, or... Uh, a little fire just, up a protest, yeah, as we fire, like to say. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Get the judge fired up <laughs> as well. Your Honor, I, I spoke with Mr. Boston. He said he wants to represent himself in this case. I told him today was just an arraignment. If he was guilty, not guilty that day. Uh, to which he responded, I just want to plead my case to the court. So he didn't want to talk to me after that. So that's why he was. Start talking, son. Yes, sir. I think it's very unfair, the marijuana law here. Um, I think we the people deserve better because marijuana is a very harmless drug and it's been around for ages since the 80s and 90s. Uh, I've heard that baloney all my life, so don't go any further on that. Yes, sir. I don't and know whether it's good or bad. All I know is yes, Tennessee sir. still has it against the law. I swore to uphold the laws and I had a lot of people that told me I could get the law and I swore to uphold the laws and I have to uphold the laws as a judge. It probably is unfair, but that's, I can't change it. You've got to go see the legislature to get that change. Yes, sir. And if you get it changed, I'll be the happiest man in the world because I won't have to fool with it. But right now, it's the law of Tennessee, and I have to enforce it. Now, if you want to plead guilty, you can today. But if you want a trial, we can give you a trial on the officer state, which uh, it's Officer Vincent. Officer Vincent? If you want to face a trial today? Uh, yeah, we can do that. That'd be fun. Then you, then you make another speech. Yeah. Yeah. May 7th. Yep. Yeah. yeah, call him. I can't give you the name of man you really need to call. But if somebody... Hey, hey, hey! We the people deserve better. Take him to jail. Take him to jail. Take him to jail. Take him to jail. Yeah, he's just like, you know what? I'm done. 
I'm, I'm just firing this up. Say there, though. Jeez. I mean, I pretty much just started smoking weed wherever I went. At one point, I didn't care. I was like in the that good honor. That was though. the vape pens in the first. Vape Thanks, pens Spencer. Good work, my friend. Um, is he in jail do we right know? Now, yeah. Or what, what do, like, do, do we know? Write him a letter. Uh, he was sentenced to ten days for uh, puffing in a courtroom. Sentenced ten days. Uh, contempt. Ten days for your contempt. We gotta love the window. Of course. Uh, ten days. Contempt. But I don't know. So, so you got people who the judge off. Yeah. Okay, that must have been a good joint. We got Neil. Where, I guess he'll still have to go back to court for the original charge. Right. So, like, maybe he'll come up for the same judge. Like, oh, there you go. Maybe he'll. Maybe, I don't think this time he'll be able to light a joint, so, though. I think they're going to pat him down a little bit. <laughs> maybe you never know. Uh, well, that's pretty fun. Maybe. Here's the opening. Here's the opening. Fingers right. crossed for that. Glass. Johnny, how's that dab going? With that stuff you were dabbing? Can I have one of those? Whoa. Well, yeah, you should hook us all up, Johnny. Come on, man. Jeez. Uh, so we also Fuck. had some other news. We, You guys talked a little bit last week about these lawsuits that are happening uh. against the big LPs in Canada. There's Aurora... Canopy and Hexo all have class action lawsuits against them coming from the United States, no less. Well, and I I, here I have a news article. Just wanted to quickly. Misleading business practices. Yeah, misleading business practices was the name of the game, I guess. Or misleading uh, their investors, misleading the shareholders, saying that they were bigger than they were, or whatever else. <clears throat> this is from the CBC. Headline, major Canadian pot companies facing proposed class action lawsuits in the U.S. Um, each of the producers is accused of misleading investors <coughs> or failing to disclose certain problems with their businesses. So, like growing problems? At They're least trying to sell a house with, the, with black mold. Well, a lot of these, a lot of these, yeah. a lot of these cannabis companies in the beginning, you saw some of these failed crops. We saw those on the social media. We saw things too. Different greenhouse, you saw plants that were just dead. You saw things were going on. I don't think they were disclosing any of this. I don't know. Oh, yeah. And well, that, that's what I feel like was going on, in my opinion. Well, that's right now, there's, there's nine. I always says, thought they had insurance for that or something because like, <coughs> it seems like pointless not to. Well, yeah, you'd think you would. But it, but they're, this is going to affect their stock prices, and that's really what they are worried about more than anything. Right? Yeah, they don't care about the product; they care about that stock price and right. money, honey. That is their product, their stock. That's, yeah, yeah. Right. So it's all about optics, that's and this is not on, good for money. optics. This is not good for them, the companies themselves. Jared wanted um, a, a dab, so I did want a dab. Talking, guess what I'm doing? Yeah. Give well, this is, it says that at least Killer nine Joker. U.S. law firms are pursuing cases against Canopy Growth, Aurora Cannabis, and Hexo in American courts. The allegations against each vary, um, but both all of them are accused of misleading investors, toke, failing toke, to disclose certain toke. problems. Toke, toke, toke. So the whole thing toke, is toke, what's toke. going on is what these investors have been doing, and a lot of these companies is we see them going to the trade shows. They get all these big booze. They're talking about what they're doing. They got these great strains. We but, got this. We got but, this. But we got this. We got that. But in reality, what they've got is they had a bunch of money. Um, uh, they played out. Uh, we, we're like we got this great weed and stuff like that, but. Which is a lot. At, at the end of the game, like with Hexo and stuff like that, what I was reading about then, they just fa- like they're the, the failing to pay for all the <laughs> oil really and nice. stuff that they brought into the market, mm-hmm. so they're not paying their bills. I mean, what are they doing with all this product? So now there's a pile of back of products, so and now there's an abundance of product that's being on the market because people Ooh. aren't buying all this dry cannabis. That's nice. And what are they doing with it? So they're turning it into oils and stuff like that, but then no one's buying it, so there's no distribution, so people are failing to pay on. On, on debts that they can't really pay is why is because they're sitting on inventory they can't sell. So right. if you can't sell something, how are you gonna pay for something that you said okay no problem? You right. know what? I got the market. Things are great over here. <coughs> I can move all that for you. So they take on on they take on the debt and all of a sudden boom there's no market for it. There's no money coming in. The investors going where is this going? And you know what? And this is what we're starting to see. Well we have this product here. They're like well yeah you said that last year. Come on now let's right. Move so this. now I mean that's just what what I'm seeing. I mean reading and kind of paying attention to. See See what direction uh, of the legal market's going, uh, who's helping who, and what's going on. Well, so let's... here's a couple examples of some of the stuff that they're being examples. accused of. Hexo, based in Gatineau, yeah. Quebec, is accused of failing to tell investors that it was inflating its revenue figures through a process called channel stuffing, which involves yeah, channel sounds stuffing. like a backdoor type deal. Yeah, which involves sending retailers more products. And they're able to sell, right? Yeah. <laughs> so and so then, they learned that from what the, about the oil angels. one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You give them too much. And a court filing alleges Hexo didn't tell investors its reported cannabis inventory was misstated and that it was growing pot in an Ontario facility not properly licensed by Health Canada. So they <laughs> bunch, a bunch of things you're not supposed to. Do. Yeah, yeah, there are a few things, aren't they? Yeah. 
that, so that illegal <laughs> stuff doesn't really make sense to me unless they're like selling that weed on the black market because like they can just get a license they're legal you know they, they should sue him they should sue him for alienating the entire pot community with the overpriced undercured overpackaged shitty weed lying right. to the general public yeah and so well, lying so, to their investors that they could actually sell that shit to people yeah lying to the investors that it's good weed it's All like they got shitty, is a captive market. The like people that have to use it because their well, doctors say so. Good weed, it's you like know, the soldiers the and stuff. So, so a lot of people thought that they had this market. They had all this great weed. lost a window. Did you have a foot? Neil's foot? My no? foot? Your foot? I didn't touch nothing. I don't think I did anything, man. So here's, a, here's something down. else that Hexo... Apparently Hexo... they. Acquired a rival called New Strike Brands, XO, XO. And, <laughs> and they bought four production facilities. In the time, they said they're committed to achieving over four hundred million dollars in net revenue in twenty twenty. But by October, the company withdrew that commitment and actually said they're only going to make forty six point five million. Whoa! So that's like you know a hundred times less. It's whatever. like you go to the ten, investor, wait, he like less, writes the check for like so much more. He's like. Yeah. And you're like, oh, sorry, it's not really that, it's this. They're like, what the fuck? Yeah. And so, and then Hexo, two weeks later, <laughs> announced 200 layoffs. So they're obviously... Ooh. Oh, yeah, and, 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 and a lot of these the companies truth. laying off a lot of people as well because they yeah. they hired all these big marketing teams. Leafly laid off things, a bunch, so. I heard. Really? Suffice okay. to say, the whole legalization scheme is a mess, and friends don't let friends buy LP weed. Uh-huh. And uh, there's a real movement to... That I'm excited about now. We're gaining some pretty good momentum with the medical cannabis uh, return. Uh, the city of Victoria passed or wrote a letter, released a press release, uh, stating that they would uh, support uh, Ted's uh, dispensary as, and that type yeah. of dispensary. And I've reached out to <coughs> Rebecca Bly here in the last couple of days at, at our city hall. They passed a motion saying they would do that. Yeah. Uh, we've been working real hard, the CSP and, and a group that was the Green Cross, uh, to find a storefront to open up in response to the city's motion. And we're getting well, really Paul close Hunt? to that. Sorry? With Paul? With Paul, yeah. Paul Hunt? Paul Hunt, yeah. Nice. So, and some other really good things going on with that as well. Him. So, I need his phone number. He didn't answer. Maybe we got the wrong number. Well, he's busy. He's got a girlfriend now. He's, I, he's all fine, like Paul. Yeah. So. Dinners and movies. But, yeah, that, that's, so. re- that's really good to know as well. So, um, <coughs> I'm, I'm optimistic. As for the CSP, really excited that today I can announce that uh, we've paid the fee. We are an actual nonprofit society. We are nice. called the Serious Hope Society. And I love that name. The Serious Hope Society? Serious Hope. Congratu- oh, Serious Hope Society. Serious Hope. Sean. <laughs> yeah, it's all about hope, man. People need some hope. And uh, and uh, so I'm really thrilled about that name. It's a name that I've resurrected from back about 15 years ago where we were starting to put a society together with that name. That's so cool. very thrilled with that. Uh, we got a really good board of directors and an advisory board. And we'll be meeting on February 23rd. This will be our first meeting as a society. So cool. good things Same. going on. And we're going to knock the shit out of the uh, legalized market because they're not going to be able to compete. What the uh, city of Vancouver passed was a motion to allow low barrier access to cannabis for the opioid crisis. Okay. So low barrier access means it it can't be $12 a gram. Uh, We're going to have nothing over $8 a gram and and much below that as well. Okay. And high dose edibles is the key for addressing the overdose crisis. Lots of donations, of course, and stuff like that. Yeah. We'll be looking for donations. The same thing with Jazz when I was talking to him on house church there a couple house trips ago. We made mention because he was doing that on the island and what you were doing, and he got he said. He got a lot of stuff from what you had done, and that's why I started. Well, they it. started their program because one of the board of directors from Van Du yeah. went over there and told them what we yes. were doing and explained yeah. it. Jack uh, liked the idea. I've been over there to see what they're doing. Uh, they did give out about 1,200 care packs a day. Isn't that amazing? That's How amazing. Many people there? That's, that's, in that's incredible. That's yeah. in Victoria. That's Victoria. <laughs> we're, so that's we're, we're doing about 600 a here. week. At yeah. this point, at yeah, but the whole thing wow. is, 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 12, is yeah. and here you he's got a whole team. I know I've said that. Oh, we have a team. We have fifteen really good volunteers. You, you guys yeah. got an amazing team. I, but uh, I, I, but I, yeah, they're I, doing I it like better. It. I, li- I like I like it all the time. I see you. Like, Kudos to Jack. They're doing it better. Yeah. They're doing it the way we're going to do it. The way we've been striving to do it, which is to have a storefront where people can come in five or six days a week, and they can choose. Indica, sativa, which but type of edible, time, cap, the you cost know, money, and then that costs capital. Well, well that's why. That's why you need the society <coughs> in order to get. The, which well, that's why we're partnering with with what was the Green Green Cross. Yes. So and where uh, the, both are you going to be located? Well, that's the thing. We couldn't find a location. Every every landlord out there wants triple the normal rent if it's anything to do with cannabis, or they won't rent to you at all. Uh, one place wanted a fifty thousand dollars signing bonus fee for the the oh, leasing yeah, agent. Well, that, you know. So, uh, you know, that, that wasn't doable. So now we're looking at the, co- the... 
Well, now we've been asked by one landlord to get a letter from the city uh, acknowledging their motion. And so that's why we're reaching out to the city to get that. And I think that we will. Uh, so, and we've got a couple other sneaky ideas about how we can set up somewhere and, and um, get by the bylaws and all that kind of stuff. I won't talk about that yet. Okay. But there's oh, a lot of you. really good stuff going on behind the scenes right now <laughs> with this thing that we're doing. Because there's lots to talk about this in media. There's lots to talk about I'll, this. I'll announce it here as quick as it's it happens. No, well, no, get on your yeah. deal. Nah, it's a good thing. Yeah. I'm just bugging you about down. <laughs> Well, really good work, Neil. And yeah, yeah, that's crazy. And great to hear about what's going on in Victoria. That's fantastic. And it's needed all across this country. Yeah, every municipality should do that here, to protect the sick and suffering. In Europe too, right? So there was another activist group that I was dealing with. with, with in Europe? Jack. Yeah, that you were dealing with too. He knows you too. I can't think of the name right now. El Stombo? Uh, There's a number of different yeah, places around one. the globe. But, yeah. You know, I, but, I, but I get I contacted by a number of different with, people. With, with a few people over there in the, that were doing the same thing as in, about medical, about, you know, giving back certain things. So, I mean, I've always kind of followed. Yeah, you know, the, the science is in. I mean, the studies exactly. have been done. The studies Cannabis have been edibles done. Work, work for people. They work. So 100%. they should be made really and then easily you available. High doses it, and that's the whole thing is these 10 milligram gummy bears that you're getting or this big chocolate they won't even be gummy bears milligram. to protect the children like, what the chocolates I mean, or something i'm sorry but i mean this is the biggest thing when <laughs> yeah, it comes no to shit, people eh? who are suffering doing the opioid crisis or dealing with any kind of condition or <laughs> suffering from anything it's those high doses that they get them off of those drugs it's the yeah, high doses that get them off the farm it's yeah. the high dosages that help them get through those 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 critical moments of dealing with addiction or dealing with pain or something like that so they can get past that point where they can start actually what we say start growing again right yeah so it's, it's just outrageous that uh, you know our public servants are blocking our abilities to get this to people you know like i've got no recall call back from rebecca for example for the last couple of days i explained to her in a text message or in a voice message what it was i was looking for and to not get back to me and that was the same with the last council and those councillors that wouldn't get back to me i put in three requests to talk to the mayor since he's become mayor and have not heard anything back they don't want to talk to the activists they, they want to flap their gums and say that they're doing something. They want to get a whole bunch of money that they can give to pharmaceutical companies for naloxone and, and other you know pharmaceutical cures for this. They and have. they say they're spending millions of dollars on the opioid crisis, but why is none of it going towards making cannabis high-dose edibles easily accessible? It just It's, it's like highly, highly like, contemptible what's going on here with our government. I don't know what's so amazing, but I know Philip Lucas did a lot of work in, 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 in Victoria and stuff like that. I don't know what his involvement is. Actually, I've been in touch with Philip in the last uh, two days because... Uh, we're, we're really in need of some uh, flowers or, yeah, or no. trim or yeah, shake. Yeah, yeah. And so uh, Chris Livingston contacted or reached out to, to Philippe and he put okay. us in contact with someone that's involved with craft cannabis. Yeah. And, you know, perhaps eventually down through the chain, we're going to get some uh, Well, this some is more a donations. great thing, I think, because there's a lot of people working with it. We know a lot of people in the industry that moved over into legal market that are there because they support cannabis and they want to help. And they're still trying to find those those avenues and those ways to be able to give back. And Their hands are tied, that. though. Well, hopefully you we're know, starting to untie sort of those. Tied, yeah. those. Those yeah. ties, those, those hands. It's like they're, they're disposing of this. And I know of one place, um, and we even put it on a video on Bubble Man's World, um, and they actually once a week destroy it with kitty litter and vinegar. Why can't they donate that? Exactly. Like, you know, why they can't, can't because you put of that government into corruption. A bag, donate that. That you know, will it, it, it's all about drive, but we can take be that dangerous. Hand. Well, this is the whole thing. And, and How many know, trillions of doses of cannabis have been consumed in Canada? Where is the health emergency? Where is there any any problems? I mean, it's a billion-dollar crop, multi-billion-dollar crop just in B.C. for the last decade or more. That's what they've acknowledged. Where does any harm come from that? Billions of dollars worth of cannabis being consumed, and there's no... There's no health issue, so why would we be using the criminal law to go after people to stop them from accessing cannabis? It just makes no sense, but it's making a whole bunch of money for a bunch of greedy bastards, and that's where the corruption comes in. This is all about corruption. Without I, corruption, I'm, I'm people gonna would be not be on the show one day because he keeps asking me. And, and I'll get you on, John. I got a couple next couple weeks for book stuff. And, and then we're gonna have to sit gonna, down. We're gonna go deep. We're gonna probably talk for about three hours. This no, you get an hour. Show. Oh, we get an hour. Right? Yeah, you got to be succinct. I, I know that. So I got an hour. I've talked really quick. Great work on the show, by the way. Actually, Craig should also be here too because we could talk. We get good. And then no one guest. Yeah, you can watch the every next Tuesday the THC show. It'll be the the six month mark. Nice. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. Very Show number work, 25, well, but I missed yeah. the Christmas week, so, you know, it's been six months. Well, we nice. did talk about those class action lawsuits. There's lots of other stuff. We could go through Tell the details, us. but just go look it up. Yeah, and I've got to run, so it's been great that I could come um, on and update you guys on what's going on, and I appreciate yeah, all the work you, that man. you're doing. Yeah, thanks, Neil. You're amazing. You got to be on stage at 420. 420, coming yeah. up. Hell yeah. 
It's going to be a big one. Slap Mr. Big. So <laughs> there is some interesting news about somebody that we know pretty well. Who? Um, a cannabis influencer in the movement that is somebody who hangs around sometimes. I hang around. We sometimes see him around here. His name's things. John Burfello. Oh, yeah. And, uh, I've seen him on a thing. Yeah, I've seen him on a thing. thing. On the I heard about it. So there's an article um, by, and, and Neil's going to get this up. Where, where's this article? Who published this article, John? Um, I actually don't know exactly. I can't think. Because <laughs> there's three of them, right? So. Yeah. Actually, it just kind of... It, it's Wait, first... we have a link to it, don't we? There, yeah, it is. there it is. Here's the link. Top here. 10 Cannabis Influencers. This is by uh, Crowd Media. Oh, shit. I'm going to have to put that guy on the show. Out. And we're going to show some you of this. You have this guy on your show. Now. Yeah, i got to get him on the show now. Eh? Yeah. yeah. Some of the biggest influencers are... Let's check this out. Uh, uh, here, top 10. Here we go. Here let's we just go. rip them all apart, dude. Who yeah. Else is, who else is yeah. on there? Um, Snoop Dogg. Oh, Snoop Dogg. Dogg. I don't know. Snoop's by the Snoop, Johnny Goodfellas with Snoop, Snoop Dogg. Dogg. Yeah, his drops are good. Wow. Uh, Big Mike. Yep. Yeah, okay. makes good food. Coral Reefer. Coral yeah. Reefer. There you go. This girl I don't know. That's a, yeah, Trippy Trees. I remember. She's her. a model. Of this guy. Look at this fucking guy. <laughs> Holding the weed leaves. Holding the weed leaves. So what, is it, what does it say there? John Burfell is a Canadian. I can't read it. You read it, Neil. I can't read that either. There, whoa. It says I was Canadian, they have 110,000 followers. But it, no, it's, it's really hard to read. It's just too. There you go. There oh, we go. Okay. There, there we go. go. There it is. Okay. okay. John Burfello is a Canadian native with 110,000 followers on YouTube and 19.3 thousand on Instagram. After being injured at work in 2005, Burfello started studying the use of cannabis for pain relief. 14 years and three medical cannabis cubs later, He's a certified Canada influencer and educator. Johnny that was Boy. Cool. Yeah, really good. But you know, there was one. Job, I, I like there was one in the top fifteen, and that's another one that popped up. And that one had to deal with uh, uh, Steve D'Angelo. It had to deal with some uh, some R nurses, some uh, all about medical. And that was the one that we were really looking at because there's a lot mm. of medical that's going on, and people are actually turning more in medical. And I was talking with Paul about that about about where's the medical gone? And I said the medical hasn't gone anywhere. It's kind of well, there's just no medical stores better. anymore. Yeah, yeah. The medical it's, research is getting better, the, the but the medical, medical access research. is not the best. Remember when all the, the dispensaries were medical dispensaries? Yeah, yeah that's what, that's they, well, what they that's, are. That's no? what they are. That's what they were. Like the yeah. dispensaries are medical dispensaries. The retail stores are rec shops. So that's yeah. like what the but difference there were, is. But there were some rec shops. Like a Cannabis Culture was never a medical marijuana dispensary. It was not, no. no. It's all medical. But I think before we did it, nobody else was really claiming rec no, no. Well, Don Vieira always claimed wreck first, so he. Well, was the first he one no, on he did it. wreck, but he, he didn't claim said, it. Though. He's like, over here, <laughs> I'm not I sure open he... up my doors. It's all, no, but you know what? Cannabis culture has always been about freeing the weed. We, oh, he definitely did always, in Decine and stuff. Yeah, Decine yeah, back in the day. Then moved that was to Abbotsford in the beginning, and that was so Don Vieira was the first. So there's well. Then there was there's Ted there's David you know what when he's going around and yeah. then, then there's Hillary Herb like, school and Herb uh, school, the other one I had there but Hillary, the Herb school so would be the big one yeah Hillary he also has the, the harm reduction and then, thing and then you have Paul Hunt with Green Cross so that was there because that's when I was over there back in the so day so yeah can back cap in the days. Johnny we used to call because yeah. he was always can cap. That yes. was my published study. That was me um, learning about how cannabis actually Ooh. helped me with my pain control because it was decarboxylated to help bind the receptors to help downregulate my pain. Yeah, that's when we first kind of realized the decarboxylation and the difference between heat, pressure. not, and right. Uh, yes, and how to activate, and then we held times and temperatures. So we started learning on the times and temperatures, and even different different strains. We started learning all the different basically activation points and. And it was kind of cool to witness that and be a part of that. And that's, yeah. that's probably has a lot to do with my influencing and stuff like that. Because all those published studies that were published between 2008 and 2010. Standardized natural cannabis uh, and pain control with PubMed case journal. So there's some other stuff out there you can Google. There you go. Look this guy up. ABC. It's just it's, it's, about, it's about, about grow, guys. It's like grow your own. And I keep saying it. it was like you can't. And not everybody can grow. I said you can all grow. You can grow your life. It doesn't have to just about growing weed. You can grow your experience. You can grow how you can treat your pain or how you can just you know life's a journey. Enjoy it. Well said, brother. Life's well a said. trip. Get life back is in. a trip. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, should we smoke something, something like this or something? Brian had a joint for me. I never got it. Yeah, can you guys never talk in giving my dabs or my joints? Oh, well, you, you Brian didn't get a dab? Wants, Brian, I said, have a dab, but he's like, here, put my <laughs> dab here. I'm taking it home. Yeah, give me one for oh, what I is can't this smoke one it now. Cookie, man. I can't smoke it now. I can't put mm. it on now. That's just like a waste. Mm, so, what can you put it on? Anil had some interesting stuff that he was telling me before the show, too, that I wanted to ask you about, Anil. Um, well, that the Medman situation that? and the CEOs in the U.S. cannabis game. What's going on there? Uh, you know, I'm not really mic'd. I don't know how much. Uh, You're, You're not. Mic'd up. Here, here, let's I'm not uh, mic'd out. We can move this uh, over here. Uh, yeah, anyway, just a whole bunch out. of. Uh, now it's four cannabis CEOs have, uh, have resigned in the last month or so. So four cannabis CEOs have resigned. In yeah, the last so month. and they're, they're all American companies. And so the talk has been, you know, there's problems in the. Canadian sector. I haven't turned the camera. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> so what's going on? Medman was one of them. Medman was one of them. There's a lot of talk about how uh, there's problems in the Canadian cannabis sector, but I think it's a, a broader issue. I mean, the issue overall everywhere in California, the established markets, prohibition is making things needlessly paper. expensive. There's no other way around it. It's the taxes to recoup for incredible licensing fees, and people haven't even really gotten as broad with cannabis as they want. If we really wanted to make money with cannabis, it would not be overcharging sick people for grants. That's right. That's rude. That's rude. That is rude. It's worse than that. It should be fucking criminal, man. It's their medicine. Well, it's but, a whole thing, right? A lot, of people, yeah. a lot of people who are using cannabis as a medicine, when we were working, when I was at the Green Cross and I was actually a member's rep and heart started that whole, started the whole member's rep um, kind of platform there and stuff, most people didn't have the money. They were on low income. Um, they were on fixed incomes and they were disabled so they couldn't fend for themselves. So they would come in with 50 cents or a dollar, whatever it would cost, in wheelchairs, and they come in and whatever they could get just so they can get some other relief from what they were going through because they were in homes that only gave them so much. And oh, all. you got your joint. It's raining. You know, like it's, it, it, right, and it really comes down to that. And with this legal system, these people just can't get online and, and, and buy a gram. Um, or half a gram or three dollars worth because then the shipping costs are fifteen, eighteen dollars. Yeah, right? Crop. Right? Can't so be, it's so not, it's just like Yeah, totally and they're not getting eat. it fresh. There's right. no freshness fresh behind it. So now they're getting dry weeds, so they're getting no medical effects. Whereas before they were able to get that bottom of the but they were they, they were getting access. That access has been taken away. And and I'm talking we're not talking about one, two, but we're talking like over four hundred stores across Canada were supplying medical patients. And that was just the storefronts. We're not talking about the delivery services and all the other dime bag guys who are running around I'm supporting an industry that are now all disappearing. And those people are not getting access anymore. And I was getting lots of contact from a lot of people. Uh, going, where do we go? Like, what? what can I, Can he help me? Where can I get this? Can you give me this? And should have been giving away seeds and stuff like that. And, yeah. You know, what, what can he do? With, tell, give, like, tell them where they can go. They can start growing their own. Because really, the... At least the governments gave one thing. They, they, it's legal. So grow your own. And if you can't, you know what? Like we really gotta support, support one another. Because if you have your own four, maybe you, you're allowed to give away up to thirty grams. You can't sell. But you can give it away. That's right. Right. You're allowed to give. You, you just you, you can't accept cash payment for something. So I mean, we give away stuff all the time. We do it on stage. We do it everywhere we go. We give away joints. We give away. Brian's putting his hash. So Brian, we. Look at that. I just gave a couple joints away right there. You ever see that? Giving away weed Fucking is good. illegal. We give away a lot of weed on 420, that's for sure. I know guys served like 30 days, 90 days in jail for one of that, passing that joint. Yeah, Mark. Really? Saskatoon. Saskatoon. Mark Emery. Mark Emery. Yeah. 90 yes, days in jail for passing a joint. That's yeah. a crazy, yeah, 90 days. And okay, like, so so how about these? How about this? Nineteen sixty-seven Porco Quill, a friend of mine, Poco. Um, Steve, D'Angelo. They pulled a joint out of his pocket that was half burnt. He did six months in jail. No, yeah. Rocho, yeah, back in the day. Six months in jail for half a split because you got too high. What about you? You were just kind of scrolling down the street with a smile and then going. Woo-hoo. There's lots of people. John Sinclair. John Sinclair. It ain't fair, John Sinclair. Yeah. Ten game ten for two. I, I used to hide two in the alley to smoke my joint, my wash my ten hands, years. put on lots of cologne, 
chew gum so I go back into school. Joint. Five years per joint. Get over Vaseline. Now he lives in Amsterdam and does a radio show every Monday. No, I don't know exactly. Monday Fun Day. Yeah, it's no a, shit. Yeah, it's like John St. Clair podcast. I want to live in Amsterdam. Radio. They do it actually out of the Hemp Shopper place there. One of the stores has like a studio downstairs. At one day I will live in Amsterdam. I fucking swear to God. I love that town. It's just so goddamn perfect. Like really, it's so fun. There's so the the weed thing really does it for me. Like it really is. It's just embraced by. Yeah, I like the fact that you can just stop and smoke a joint here, buy some weed here, fucking, and carry on your day. Like when I was there last yeah. time, I did a light at the zoo. Uh, I think I did one of the museums. Um, but yeah, it was just so easy to like stop and grab some weed, smoke it up. <laughs> smoke all the weed you had on you because you know you could just go back and buy more like, <coughs> like it felt. and it's just fun hanging out in the coffee shops that was cool too watching everyone come in meeting a lot of people plus if you've never had breakfast in Holland or spe- specifically in Amsterdam no. it when is you go really the awesome What's the name of the place Dutch you breakfast there? is amazing oh Barney's Uptown Barney's Uptown they got crazy that's panic, only because you can have breakfast there and smoke weed smoke weed so everyone everyone goes and they try to serve you Real man, that's not the best. Not really, but you know what? If you get the upper table and and there's pictures of us, and that was in 2012. Oh, that was the one, yeah. That's 2012. That was that was a game changer. That yeah, was definitely that, that was the year. That was the year where a lot of us all got together and we we're like, let's do this. Let's do so, this. Let's Canada Seagull, bro. Yeah, let's let's do this. I did want to also mention, and I haven't dropped this one on the show yet, but um, cannabis culture has a new venture. That we're out endeavoring on joint venture. Is that a thing? A joint venture. Yeah, it is a joint venture actually, See? with uh, our homegirl Brittany, who was a former franchise operator of Cannabis uh, Culture in Hamilton, Ontario. There you go. Uh, she's working on the project with us, and we're calling it Cannabis Culture Suites. And what they are is Airbnbs that are 420 friendly that you can go to and smoke cannabis at, and uh, and they're 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 going to be really dope. We've already got one, and it's open now, and you guys can go and do it. Um, nice. It's in Hamilton, Ontario. So Airbnb 420. Have, it's yeah. beautiful. It's all set up really nice. If you're in Hamilton and you want to so stay you get, in a do you, do you get this, <coughs> you weed-friendly spot. With weed, or do you have to get, bring your own weed? Um, we're working on that right this second. So... So, yeah, the, I'm always, I think, the first well, thing I'm like, okay, isn't there, okay, isn't so, there like the I'm coming over here, Airbnb, am I getting hashed? Leave weed when they leave or whatever. Let's, like that. Well, yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's just say this: that Donations. it's legal. It's legal to leave marijuana in the Airbnbs and have people come, and it's just part of the Airbnb because you can give people anything you want. So in your, well, it's, your, it's, like it's, a, it's a residency. Or whatever, up to yeah. 30 yeah. American comes, yeah. they can't bring up their weed on, so they exactly. leave it in that box, you know. So that will be reflected in the prices of the Airbnb. Oh my god! Crisper, so you can you have know? like you can have like the 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 diamond one, which will be all the epic hash and stuff like that. Ooh, and then we have we could have different packages. Like, Currently, oh. it's just one, I think. Huh? But um, yeah, yeah, it's a very edibles. cool thing. And if you want to find out more, I believe the Instagram is Cannabis Culture Hamilton. But we should we should look that up just so I'm not shit. I'm gonna do with my basement. But yeah, exactly. And that's the thing is we plan on having a lot more of these. So watch for more Cannabis huh? Culture Suites. They're gonna be all over the place. And right. I do, like I said before, I plan on having one in Amsterdam. I want Cannabis Culture Suites in Amsterdam. So. Um, um, it can, cannabis culture Hamilton on Instagram, I believe, and it's actually at our location. So we used to have a cannabis culture full fledged dispensary and vapor lounge in Hamilton, Ontario. That's the building that our Airbnbs are in. The two floors upstairs, and they're absolutely beautiful. They're Where? really Which modern, floor? really nicely done. Um, Hamilton, Ontario. Yeah, I know that. At our old cannabis culture building. Okay. So the big one we had downtown. Yeah, I was nice. there. Um, and I can't. The address we can get. It'll be on that Instagram if we can get in there. King Street something 289 or yeah, I don't know no that was up in smoke 289 I forget now it's, it's hard off the top of my head oh I see Davy Street huh? on the screen there oh, there you go yeah, ah. guys <laughs> look like that's one. not good. that's not Empires. culture club <laughs> <laughs> that was that boy George uh, John magazine official store uh, Hamilton uh, down five Canvas nice. culture Hamilton that's right we go down CC like CC B and B it's our cannabis culture bud and breakfast. Cannabis culture yeah. bud and breakfast. Yeah. Nice. So if you're in Hamilton, bud and breakfast. Bud and breakfast. 
And best yeah, if you're in Hamilton and you want to get hooked up, green hash and you want to stay in a weed friendly place, this is the spot. Let's so it's you're a see true more hash browns. Roger Hamilton. You, you actually get hash browns. And if you click on that cannabis friendly Airbnb link that's at the top there, keep scrolling up. There's Brittany. Um, see, there's the CCBNB thing there. And if you click that link, uh, where does that take you? <laughs> so we're about ready to find out. You're like, <laughs> where does that take you? How do you? Like, can we put this? How do you on? actually click it on the screen? So, uh, we're going to look at that. Oh, there it is. Yeah, let's show this off because it looks pretty dope. Nice. Okay, so this is this is pretty cool. This is pretty awesome, guys. So yeah, check this, this is our out. cannabis culture friendly. Friendly, sweet, Stop. sweet one. How yep. many sweets? We have yeah. two. Um, yeah, can we expand that? Make it a little bigger so everybody can see it. Some of those pictures. No, you had it clear when you did the other you can, time. You can click on them. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Look at that, a rig right on the counter and a bong. Uh-huh. So you know you're going to be token up there. It's Get a, a dope dab spot. Man. Full kitchen. Full kitchen, bong, bong. Candies, got your munchies, munchies. got your you got equipment your for smoking. And it'll have all kinds of cannabis well, culture related swag in there, like maintainers will be with the suite. All of this stuff will be with the suite. So it's really nice. They look really awesome. They'll be their takeaway. Beautiful away. bathrooms and showers. Little um, lighters and rollies yeah, and cannabis culture, roll, everything like everything that. Everything you need. Yeah, you everything you're going to need. And and like and like most stoners, they just don't want one pack of rollies. They want a, an array, so you can guarantee they're going to have like everything that you need. From It's going to be... I, I'm, I'm pretty excited for you guys. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, I can't wait to be on, the one in Vancouver. We want them all over the place. Yeah, yeah, all we'll over the world. Too. Yeah, so we'll be... It's a cool idea, and I think it makes a lot of sense. People want to be able to go somewhere where they can... We should just have the lounges one, then, eh? Yeah, that we did the lounges. Yes, it is. Or, one. I mean, uh, the studio went somewhere not. Yeah, the right place. here. You guys could sleep on the couch. A yeah, roll out. It's not a bad idea. We we'll put, like, a little window. We'll turn it into a door so you can go out the back, and then at night, and then it'll be, like, do not... Like, you have to go over the barbed wire. Just be, we'll figure it out for you. Yeah. Yeah. And, and soon know. we'll have a website too. Um, we've got it all. We just have don't have the site built yet, but cannabiscultureSweets.com. Heady Adventures. CA. That's pretty cool, guys. Yeah. That's pretty exciting. Yeah. Nice to see that. So if you, and that's the whole idea is like you can't like a lot of places you can't consume cannabis. It's like where are you going to consume that's if the you go issue, somewhere? Like, hey. It's a major issue. A lot of these hotels. I even yeah. go to places. I'm like surprised. The big signs. No can. No smoking. No cannabis signs. No smoking everywhere yep. now. I don't, and, 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 I don't and, see those. I kind of I don't see color of those. Yeah, I, I ignore them. But I was really them. surprised to see one the other day somewhere. I was like, wow. And it was at this little shop, and it was in Yarrow. Um, and I was coming back when it was a farmer's market. Yarrow's around smoking, yeah, always. And a little, little farmer's market. It was on the right passing Carlson Lake. And I got out to go and check it out. And they had this little sign. It was like, no smoking, no pot smoking, and, and no something else. Baby. I was like, really? In the middle of nowhere? Like <laughs> This is like... <laughs> Yeah, it's funny. You gotta have a good place to smoke, <clears throat> and when you're traveling, same thing. So that's important. Yeah, and it's totally legal, hundred yeah. percent. Well, that's the best thing, right? You can grow four. You can smoke as much as you want. Carry thirty grams a week. Get to know your laws, you guys. Yeah. Um, but watch you know for what? we're gonna have more. And if you go to places like Toronto, we'll have them for yeah. sure. We're working on some stuff in Ontario, mostly at the currently but so you have to have one of these places that that you have where there's actually they're growing four plants and they can actually witness these it's a good bad. idea no, I that'd be know. fun good idea that's right yeah it's like if you grow growing. you could have an air grown bean grow air bean grow air bean bean it's got to grow you can learn how to grow, <laughs> grow B &B. come in for a week and learn how to grow grow b and b grow b and b learn how to grow your own four i don't know i'm just throwing it out there i want to see your four best buds every four culture, months grow right that's what I want to talk about. Yeah, so you know what? Like yeah. once we get enough people growing four plants, we submit your four best buds, and then like every four months we have a little little thing, and you know I want the community like show us your four. Yeah, that's it. That's the that's the show, show your voice. four at four. Show, right? four. So be like show four us your four. Clock four. Look at the, I was gonna show off this. Show. Look at the notepad I was using. Which I, I like feel, this. I feel kind of bad, but. Um, Medical cannabis by Shoppers Drug Mart. This was in the What's, lift. You bag. know what? It's good this that was, Shoppers oh, and, is actually and, supporting and medical cannabis, and that's yeah, a huge right. thing for a lot of people who believe in medical, destroy. who go to yeah. Shoppers Drug Mart and uh, have their whole decade, like my father's and your father's you and your friends and stuff like that. So when they see someone endorse cannabis as medical, like Shoppers Drug funny. Mart, 
I think that's fantastic because they are looking at the medical market. They know what's alleviating people's pain, and they know they should be uh, actually allowing access for. Yeah, patients. no, it's good. I, I'm glad they're in on it's it. Big, and it's a big, it's, big deal. In I'm my glad they they have the capability of being in on it. They have. They are. They are one of the biggest pharmaceutical companies in Canada. They are the powerhouse. What are they going to do? At least yeah. they're offering it. So if you're in the hospital, I can go down to the shoppers drug mart. Hopefully yeah. that they have in the hospitals, and maybe get a pen so we can go outside and puff. Wouldn't that yeah. be awesome? And you know what? I don't. For some reason, in my own, <laughs> and that's mind, a high dose. I don't really we want higher doses. I don't well. hold. For some reason, I, I don't consider them like the similar experts. to the LPs or something. Like I don't. For some reason, I, I just don't see them as like trying to just take advantage of something as much as everybody else because they're, they're trying to supply medical, access. Yeah, they're, they're, the pharmacist of, is like, do you have any questions? <laughs> you're like, yes. She's like, hmm, I don't know about that. Right. You know, like they, they know can't what answer else, any yeah, questions. Drugs or whatever. They're like, yeah, but then they're like. Yes. How do I token this? Yeah. Yeah. How does this token? They probably don't know that though. They probably don't know exactly what to tell people when they ask me weed related. I should questions. ask my pharmacist when I talk to her because I you always should. see her or whatever for different things. But like, and she's always like, you know, that this is bad. Don't take the. They're like, you should nails. try this nail in your dab rig. At <laughs> I'll be like, what are you gonna do? Like, start selling marijuana or whatever, and she'll just be like, uh, uh, yeah. Maybe they'll hire me, and I could be that guy. Hey, there you go. The marijuana similar. I got the twelve minute on the parking. So I'm yeah, we're gonna wrap this up right now um, because that's all I had on my. Well, extended well you know what? There's there's twenty twenty. It's uh, I haven't seen too many animals going out there right now, and I'm, I'm kind of trying to pay a little bit of attention to that market, and I'm seeing a lot of vape pens now being accessible through all these legal stores and stuff like that. So we are seeing a bit of a change when it comes to that type of access, but we're still seeing lousy dry weed. But then are these the same then, shitty pens that everyone's been now like saying that are bad for us, but they've now been bought a million of them, so they still bring them to market? No, it's different. I have no idea about that. I'm, you've got to tell me more about that, Brian. I haven't researched that yet, so I can't comment on that. But No comment. Go to 420vancouver.com. We're going to see you at 420. Yeah, if you year. want a vendor's booth, if you're a vendor, they start being available on February 15th at our website, 420vancouver.com. You can buy them, purchase the space online. <clears throat> so that'll be launched very soon. And if you're interested in getting a VIP pack, a VIP uh, kit and the whole thing, the pass and all the goodies with it, the 420 experience... Then, People are already asking about pricing right yeah, now. But those that, are coming very soon. You'll see I that think, on a website. I think those will probably be available even before the booths themselves. Well, we should talk so, about that and have a release because there's already some people in we'll chat like they want to know about it. that because there's only so many people access to that. So it's going to kind of be like maybe a lottery at that point because there's so many people interested. Maybe we should put out there who's interested yeah. and see how those are going to be distributed. Well, we may, we may end up Because, you know, it. if there's only going to be 10 people on, yeah. on that on that thing, I think we should hold like a lottery. And a lot of people are going to want to be a part of that more than 10 people guaranteed we should we'll probably give away at least one of those passes See? on this gonna show there's going to be a giveaway a giveaway yeah, yeah we maybe even get a sponsor who wants to buy one of those to give away yeah right those could be bought by sponsors to give away by that yeah. so there's all these little things that yeah. we're going to see how it's going to come about yeah, good um, because if we're, we're someone you'd be yeah. remembering their name oh, i'd be remembering yeah, that I, name forever yes yeah. So, yeah, we'll, we'll have more information about all of those goodies soon on the show. Um, but, yeah, those VIP packs, man, I think that's going to be fun. It's gonna oh, it's going to be that, more than fun. That man. vendor sample It's going to be one of the time of your awesome. lives. You're going to have a great time. It'll be memorable. And, uh, well, you're going to be puffing. Yeah. Puffing tough. Puffing puffin tough. tough. All right, everybody, watch all the fun shows on Paw TV all week long. Tomorrow at noon, it's noon. high noon with Boss Lissa. So make sure you tune in for that and all the other good shows all week long. We'll see you next Friday. Peace. Drug peace. peace.